The National Climate Risk Information System is a digital database service which serves as the official data center for all climate finance entities that support projects, research, and technologies to mitigate the effects of climate change. It's a system that can help to save lives and provide all the necessary info for the development of projects. And today, these 20 participants were trained on how they can use and contribute to the system. The training was coordinated by UB lecturer Kieran Ryan. So this is uh, the CRIS part two. The CRIS is the climate risk information system that UB built in 2022 for National Climate Change Office. Uh, this is now to integrate tourism data and, uh, and agriculture data into the system as well. So um, we have participants from uh, many organizations and they have data that is mandated to be public, publicly accessible. So the CRIS provides um, a, a system to do that. So they have to learn how to create an account and how to upload and label files that are then available to the public. How exactly is this beneficial to them, um, each significant participant in their capacity? Yes, so the, the training, a lot of the um, participants have data and they're mandated to share it, but they don't have a system to do that. So we're facilitating that. So when they return to their organization, they can collect more data that's mandated. So an um, uh, individual trainee today was asking me, every time somebody asks him, he has to send emails with this data. Now he can just share a link on the website to the data there. So who all can access this data? And why is it important for these stakeholders to take an interest in learning more about the database and its functions? Ryan says the more data, the better. Basically, we have from uh, Ministry of Agriculture, and we have from Baja, we have from Surdi. And then from tourism, we have um, immigration. And what, what they really need to know is the, the URL, uh, how to create a username and password, um, how to upload the data, and how to label the data correctly. Uh, when they get back to their organization, uh, they can, if, if, if they get permission from their department, uh, they can add more users and use the system to uh, disseminate data. Today, it's pretty good. Everybody learned how to create an account and learned how to upload. Uh, we did have a little bit of issues right here with the locking mechanism that's being worked on, but they all know how to do it. So we had over, I think, 400 files. We uploaded, in addition to the training, they're actually putting the data up there. So that's a nice thing. The tourism sector got over 200 down, uh, uploaded, and we got about halfway with um, the agriculture. But uh, as soon as the system is, is functioning, they can do this from when they get back to their organization. And if they collect, if they have more data, they can continually use it. For the Ministry of Agriculture, the CRIS plays a huge role in keeping farmers up to date with the climate change conditions across the country. Well, basically, um, this training is very important uh, for the ministry to share uh, information to its farmers especially with the issue of um, climate change and how is it that the agronomic information can help them to become productive um, farmers. Uh, and the ministry has its own research unit in Central Farm that research is being conducted and information that is gathered from that can be used to share with farmers in the issue of soil um, fertility and management, uh, the issue of plant health, um, the issue of new varieties that can be adapted to the current drought conditions that, that we're um, facing. So um, information like this is very important to share to our farmers. That's basically what the Ministry of Agriculture uh, should be doing so that at the end of the day um, our farmers can utilize the information. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.